At present, our demand for energy far exceeds our reliable supply. We must increase the level of energy production. We must look at every possible option that would be appropriate for the Philippine situation. On October 3, 2025, the Philippine Department of Energy, DOE, launched a landmark clean energy initiative with the deployment of a mobile energy system, MES, a self-contained solar-powered unit equipped with advanced battery storage. This mobile platform represents a leap forward in the country's efforts to bring renewable and resilient power to remote and off-grid areas. The project was implemented through a multi-agency partnership involving the DOE, the National Power Corporation, NPC, and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, whose logistical and security support made deployment in such a remote area possible. It forms a key component of the Energy Secure Philippines Activity, ESPA, a program funded by the United States government, which seeks to promote decentralized, climate-resilient energy systems across the archipelago. In her statement at the launch, Energy Secretary Sharon Guerin emphasized that the project exemplifies the administration's holistic approach to energy access, declaring, under the leadership of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., we are not only providing electricity, we are enabling opportunity, security, and resilience for the people of Balabac Island. The MES deployment thus stands at the intersection of energy development, national resilience, and geopolitical strategy, an emblem of how renewable energy now serves as both a tool for inclusive growth and a pillar of national security. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., during his inspection of SIP course facilities on June 11, directed the Department of Energy and NEA, or National Electrification Administration, to implement both the short and long-term solutions to address the power crisis in Siquijor. Balabac Island, located at the southern tip of Palawan, is among the southernmost territories of the Philippines, lying close to the maritime boundary with Malaysia. Despite its relative isolation, its location grants it immense strategic importance. Balabac sits near vital international sea lanes in the Sulu and Celebes seas, making it a critical outpost for maritime security and defense operations. Electrifying Balabac therefore carries implications that go beyond local development. It directly contributes to strengthening the Philippines' sovereignty and presence in a sensitive border region. For decades, however, Balabac's roughly 40,000 residents have struggled with limited, unreliable power, historically dependent on small diesel generators that are costly, polluting, and insufficient for sustained growth. Studies conducted prior to the MES deployment indicated that a 1.5 megawatt solar photovoltaic PV farm would be sufficient to meet Balabac's energy needs until 2030, underscoring the island's suitability for renewable solutions. By replacing fossil-based generation with solar energy, the government aims not only to cut costs and emissions, but also to catalyze local industries, improve quality of life, and secure a vital frontier community that bridges development with defense. Mobile Energy System, MES, deployed to Balabac Island, represents a landmark innovation in the Philippines' renewable energy strategy. A compact yet high-capacity mobile platform designed to deliver sustainable power in some of the nation's most remote and strategically sensitive areas. The entire system is housed within a 20-foot trailer, a deliberate engineering choice that makes the MES both modular and mobile, allowing for ease of transport via ship, truck, or aircraft and quick installation even in rugged or isolated terrain. This flexibility enables the Department of Energy, DOE, to position or reposition the system in response to both developmental and security needs, making it a practical energy solution for frontier islands like Balabac, which often face logistical barriers to conventional infrastructure deployment. The system's solar array provides 9.18 kilowatt peak, KWP, of installed photovoltaic, PV, capacity optimized for tropical sunlight exposure, feeding into a 60 kilovolt ampere, KVA, hybrid inverter that intelligently manages both solar input and stored energy output. 
The heart of the MES lies in its 102.4 kilowatt hour KWH lithium-based battery storage system, which allows it to store excess energy generated during the day and deliver uninterrupted electricity even through the night or adverse weather. This configuration not only guarantees operational reliability, but also drastically reduces reliance on diesel fuel, thereby cutting emissions and maintenance costs. The DOE and National Power Corporation, NPC, have noted that the MES's power generation and storage are sufficient to operate essential community and emergency services, including local schools, rural health units, communications facilities, and command posts that serve as lifelines in disaster or defense situations. The initial beneficiaries of the MES include the Balabak Central School and its surrounding barangay, marking a historic first for many residents who now enjoy continuous, clean, and reliable power for both education and community activities. This has tangible social and developmental impacts. Classrooms can operate digital learning tools. Clinics can power refrigeration for vaccines and medical supplies. And communication systems vital for disaster alerts and maritime coordination can function around the clock. DOE officials described the Balabak MES as a proof of concept deployment that will inform a broader national framework for decentralized energy systems in off-grid areas. By proving the technical and logistical viability of such mobile renewable installations, the project lays the foundation for a network of similar MES units across the archipelago, especially in geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas, GIDAs. Expansion plans are already in motion. DOE has confirmed that the next phase will scale the MES model to additional remote sites in southern Palawan and the Sulu Archipelago, where energy insecurity hampers both development and defense readiness. This approach aligns with the country's Energy Secure Philippines Activity, ESPA, program, which emphasizes climate resilient, locally adaptable energy solutions. In essence, the Balabak MES is not merely a technical achievement. It is a blueprint for how the Philippines can harness renewable innovation to empower communities, enhance national resilience, and secure its maritime frontiers through sustainable development. The deployment of the Mobile Energy System, MES, in Balabac Island marks a significant step in the Philippines' long-term pursuit of inclusive and sustainable development, linking clean energy access directly to national growth environmental stewardship, and security resilience. This project demonstrates how technology and partnership can directly uplift communities, especially those that have long remained in the margins. Indeed, reliable electricity is more than a matter of comfort. It is a catalyst for transformation. With continuous power now available for the Balabac Central School, students can study beyond daylight hours. Teachers can incorporate digital learning tools, and classrooms can operate under improved conditions conducive to 21st century education. The same holds true for healthcare, where consistent electricity allows clinics to refrigerate vaccines, sterilize equipment, and maintain communications with regional hospitals. On the livelihood front, the stable energy supply opens new opportunities for fishermen to preserve their catch using ice storage, and for small enterprises like retail shops and local processing facilities to operate more efficiently. Collectively, these improvements translate into tangible socio-economic progress, empowering Balabac's residents to participate more fully in the modern economy, while reducing inequality between urban and remote communities. Beyond social uplift, the MES embodies a major advance in environmental and economic efficiency. Balabac's isolation has long forced dependence on diesel generators, which are expensive, pollutive, and logistically burdensome due to costly fuel transport from mainland Palawan. By shifting to solar-based power, the island stands to dramatically reduce both its fuel imports and carbon footprint. Comparative data from other MES units underscore these benefits. A 70 kilowatt hour system can save nearly 480,000 per year in diesel costs, while a smaller 50 kilowatt hour unit can still achieve over 389,000 in annual savings, a substantial amount for rural municipalities. The Balabac system, with its 102.4 kilowatt hour storage, is projected to generate even higher savings while virtually eliminating fuel-related emissions and noise pollution. As DOE Secretary Rafael Lotilla emphasized, every peso saved from imported fuel is a peso reinvested into our communities. 
Every kilowatt hour generated locally strengthens our energy independence. The long-term impact is therefore twofold, reducing operational costs and freeing up public funds for social services, while advancing the country's commitments under the National Renewable Energy Program, NREP, and Philippine Energy Plan, PEP, 2023 to 2050, to increase renewable generation and reduce fossil dependence. The MES's modular, mobile configuration also confers critical advantages in disaster resilience and national security. Its design allows for rapid deployment to areas affected by natural disasters, such as typhoons or earthquakes, where grid infrastructure has been destroyed or fuel deliveries disrupted. Previous MES units, for example, were successfully deployed to Lalo and Santa Ana in Cagayan following severe typhoons, where they provided immediate electricity to support emergency response operations and restore communications for local government units, LGUs. These experiences have demonstrated the system's utility not only as a development tool, but also as a strategic emergency asset, capable of sustaining vital services during crises. In Balabac's case, the MES plays an additional role in strengthening the Philippines' maritime resilience, electrifying a frontier island located near international sea lanes enhances the country's ability to maintain a continuous security and monitoring presence. With power available for radar, communications, and command facilities, the project effectively merges energy security with territorial security. The deployment of the Mobile Energy System, MES, in Balabac Island is not an isolated project but a cornerstone in the Department of Energy's DOE, broader national agenda to advance renewable energy, strengthen energy sovereignty, and ensure that even the country's most remote communities are not left behind in the digital and economic transformation of the Philippines. The project reflects a deepening of bilateral cooperation between the Philippines and the United States, carried out under the USAID Energy Secure Philippines activity, which focuses on building clean, resilient, and inclusive energy systems. This collaboration underscores the shared strategic goal of promoting energy independence through innovation, technology transfer, and local capacity building. The initiative also benefited from the logistical and operational support of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, a key partner in transporting, securing, and setting up the system in the country's southern frontier. This integration of civilian and defense institutions demonstrates a whole-of-government approach to energy resilience reflecting a recognition that electrification in frontier and off-grid areas is both a development and security priority. The Balabac deployment thus stands as an example of effective interagency synergy, where technical expertise, logistical coordination, and international support converge to deliver tangible progress for isolated communities. At a policy level, the MES initiative aligns seamlessly with the DOE's long-term vision for an inclusive, secure, and sustainable energy future. A framework designed to ensure that no Filipino community is left behind. This aligns with the Philippine Energy Plan, PEP, 2023 to 2050, which lays out the government's roadmap toward clean energy transition and grid diversification. Central to this vision are the DOE's renewable energy targets. Increasing the renewable energy share in the national power generation mix to 35% by 2030 and 50% by 2040. Projects like the MES are crucial to achieving these benchmarks, particularly in off-grid and missionary areas where diesel generators still dominate. Through the Missionary Electrification Development Plan, MEDP, the DOE aims to accelerate the integration of low-cost, renewable technologies, solar, wind, and hybrid systems into the energy matrix of underserved communities. The MES serves as a model of technological adaptability, combining portability, resilience, and affordability in a single platform that can be replicated across island municipalities throughout the archipelago. In this sense, Balabac's mobile solar system is both a local solution and a national prototype, demonstrating how the Philippines can advance toward its renewable energy goals while reinforcing energy security, reducing dependence on imported fuel and fulfilling its commitments under the Paris Agreement. The deployment of the Mobile Energy System, MES, in Balabac Island stands as a powerful demonstration of how innovation, 
strategic collaboration, and renewable technology can converge to transform the Philippines' energy landscape. More than a pilot initiative, it is a proof of concept for the country's capacity to deliver clean, mobile, and resilient power solutions to even its most isolated and logistically challenging regions. In successfully electrifying a frontier island that has long struggled with energy poverty, the project validates the government's approach of coupling renewable energy development with national security and community empowerment. The MES represents more than a technical success. It is a tangible embodiment of inclusive growth, ensuring that access to electricity becomes a right, not a privilege, regardless of geography. Its success also signals a paradigm shift in how the Philippines approaches energy planning, one that is adaptive, decentralized, and climate resilient, capable of addressing both humanitarian needs and strategic imperatives in equal measure. Looking forward, the Balabac MES serves as a launch pad for future renewable deployments across the archipelago. The lessons learned from Balabac and earlier MES operations in Cagayan provide the Department of Energy, DOE, with a replicable framework for scaling up modular energy systems nationwide. Plans are already underway to extend similar mobile solar installations to other off-grid and geographically isolated communities, particularly in Palawan, the Sulu Archipelago, and the Northern Batanes Islands, regions that face chronic power shortages yet are vital to national maritime security. At the policy level, the DOE's strategic direction remains focused on accelerating the renewable energy transition through innovation and investment. A major step in this trajectory is the upcoming Green Energy Auction 4, GEA4, which will expand opportunities for private sector participation in renewable power generation. This round will feature the Integrated Renewable Energy and Energy Storage System, IRES framework, combining solar power plants with battery energy storage systems, BESS, to ensure grid stability, load management, and energy security. Such initiatives reflect a maturing energy strategy one that recognizes that sustainability is not only about environmental responsibility, but also about national independence and resilience. In this light, the Balabac MES is not the end of a project, but the beginning of a movement. A model for how clean energy can illuminate lives, fortify borders, and shape the Philippines' energy-secure future.